in the middle of the 19th century, one in every 25 people in Chilmark was deaf due to a hereditary gene. And while one in 25 people were deaf, 25 in 25 knew how to sign. To the people of Chilmark, the remarkable high concentration of deafness wasn't something that needed to be understood because it wasn't remarkable. Largely cut off from the rest of the world, they didn't know the difference between hearing or deaf. They did not have a disabled population. They spoke two languages and they were equal citizens. Bushy. I'm 28 and I am on the autism spectrum. Growing up, I struggled to learn how to read and write. But with the help of my parents and with the help of people who cared about me, that key to reading and writing was finally unlocked. It unlocked a whole new world for me. With that ability finally being given to me to be able to read and write, a whole new world of special interest opened up. I became interested in history. I became interested in not only hearing the stories of one people, but the stories of many. And so I became a tour guide in a museum where I volunteer and dress in historical costume and, and offer glimpses of histories to people from all over the world. I also wanted to learn and the stories of people from different cultures. So as a result, when I got older, er, I went to I am now in university and study global studies. I study so many people's stories. It, my experience of being a person with disability also uh, launched me into a field of activism, um, where at my university, I also intern in the diversity and inclusion office. Moral of the story is, when people with disabilities are given the chance, when their gifts and abilities are unlocked, they can do amazing things. I am more than just a person on the spectrum. I am a daughter. I am a, a tour guide. I am a daycare worker. When you give people with disabilities a chance, you'd be amazed at the most amazing things, things they can do. And now it's your turn. If someone cannot read, write, or speak, giving them access to technology can unlock the incredible person they are inside. In my school, where we have children with cerebral palsy who are on the autism spectrum and they're nonverbal, um, also children with traumatic brain injuries, they've lost their ability to talk. And through education technology, we have been able to give them their voice back. And we start with a process that is low tech. We use symbols called pecs or symbol sticks. We will put the symbol for cup on the cup. And eventually the students will move on to take these symbols and start placing them into sentences and phrases. And we focus on uh, reaching the core vocabulary first. It's been identified that there are 200 words in spoken English that are used 80% of the time. So by focusing on those words, we get to help these students develop expressive language. Those boards that they create made from paper get translated onto an iPad. So when they touch those symbols, you hear the voice.
scientists received half an hour at universities about AAC. So it is silly and selfish because when we arrive at their doors, they start to worry because we do know more about our...